All right, guys, uh, changing the oil on the 22 Beta 300X cross trainer. So the oil recommended is Liquid Molly 1050. And so I got a four liters of that. They go by liters. Uh, the volume in this 300cc cross trainer, you can see this is a Beta cross trainer 300. The capacity is 0.85 liters, which is almost, you know, a hair less than a, a liter hair less than a quart whatever you want to call it so the goal here is this bike's a little bit of a pain this is my first oil change but you got to loosen this bolt which is behind the the brake uh, pedal here which isn't too bad you can just push the brake lever down that's your drain plug then you got obviously your fill plug which i already took out it's right there on the ground a little black thing and then you've got your oil check plug you can see it it's on this rounded section here this one so apparently you're supposed to fill it up until that oozes out, but you're also supposed to measure it, the 0.85 liters. Now, remember, it's tough to drain all the oil out, so I'm going to go slow on adding oil. And I'm not going to, I'm probably going to, you know, go a little bit by this mark here. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll kind of double check it, measure it, and check the drain plug. Now, I got the, the, this bike's a little bit of a pain, like I said, because the frame is right there where it's going to drain on. So it'll make a little bit of a mess now. It is a little easier if you take the skid plate off. It's just two bolts. They're not a big deal. So I got the skid plate off just so it doesn't catch oil and make a mess. And, and then the other little trick that I do sometimes, if you can see this, I've tied the um, handlebar to that shelf there. And what I'm going to do is just tip the bike over like this gently. Oh, one hand here. I put it in gear so it doesn't roll away on me. And you can see it's pretty tipped over. So that strap there, you can do it with a strap or lean it on a bucket, whichever. But I'm you know, doing the main work while it's upright on the kickstand, and then I'll tip it over to drain it, and hopefully it'll miss the frame a little bit more, drain a little faster, and we'll be good to go. So um, just make sure you don't pull your shelf unit down, which mine's uh, screwed into the corner, so it should be okay. Anyway, um, again, one more quick review. 0.85 liters of the 1050. Uh, fill hole which i took out the cap drain plug down behind the brake lever and inspection plug which i'll pull out later so i'm going to drain it right now um and uh go from there also you got to run it first because you want to get the bike heated up uh, and get all the dirt and stuff in suspension of the oil so that's kind of the reason they have you heated up one of the other reasons is that now you have oil up in the bike. Like it had been sitting for two weeks, all the oil had drained out. When you go to do a cold start, if you change the oil at that point, you would have kind of oil starvation in a sense. So I um, so, uh, hope that helps you guys. Appreciate any likes and subscribes. If you have any questions, just give me a holler. Take care.